So this morning as I was getting ready for my day, I was listening to an audiobook and the author was talking about being entrepreneurial. It's Darren Hardy's book about the entrepreneurial roller coaster. He was talking about his first entrepreneurial experience and I thought, oh my gosh, it feel like he just peeked into my life and took that first chapter of my entrepreneurial experience as an adult right out of my life and talked about it. It was this story about going for it, about doing the thing, right? Uh, he was selling water purification systems. Back when I first moved to the United States, um, I was basically on my own in that I didn't really have friends and I didn't have any family. So figuring things out was really, really challenging. I made a lot of mistakes, but professionally, what drew me to the, to, uh, to the idea of living in America was this sense of being able to kind of do it on your own. I didn't really understand what it means to do things on your own. I took it quite literally. I thought you are on your own. And I had to learn and learned very quickly that it's not ever about doing things on your own. It's always about finding community, finding inner circle, finding mentors, finding colleagues and teammates that share your value proposition and share a vision. So the mistakes that I made were largely made because I had this goon and this lie of self-made entrepreneurial woman growing up to be who I want to be. And that unlearning was my personal roller coaster, which is why I am so passionate about this idea of networking and connecting and it's why i found it to be better network because it's this space where business owners entrepreneurs um, people who are really entrepreneurial and driven about their career even if they don't own their own business or create their own products and services it is still that same drive and vision and collective coming together of aiming for something better which is why I called it the Be Better Network. The platform is also called Be Better Platform because it holds all these resources. Anyway, the reason why I named it Be Better is because when I first moved to the United States, I really didn't speak English really well. English is my second language. To be was the very first verb I learned to conjugate. And I got kind of bonkers about it because I started to really look at the word. Now, what happens when you learn a language is you have to really engage the words. And so you have to look them up and suddenly you recognize what it actually means. Like, I am. That is such a powerful statement. And so to be better is this empowering statement of I am being better and I am actively engaged in that betterment of myself and my team and my community. And so the network is set up with that mindset, if that makes sense, right? So it's just really about engaging, about being, about presence, about self-leadership. And from that place comes that community and that value proposition and that helping and supporting one another because we're all in this together and we're all learning from one another and the more we can engage with one another and the more we can be honest and truthful and uh, participating in each other's lives and businesses the better we are collectively so i feel really passionately about that because i know exactly what it looks like when you don't have that. So my story of starting off as an entrepreneur was selling air purification systems and vacuum cleaners and getting really zealous about my success. I learned so much in that first year of get, having a work visa and being able to do some work um, and, and having my life be turned upside down with this notion that 
This isn't about me doing it on my own, even if I feel alone, even if I am alone, because I'm far removed from my, from my family. If I wanted to be successful, if I wanted to grow as a person, it was going to be about creating community and engaging in community, and that that is something that you find in business. A business isn't about solo, a business is about together. So um, I hope that wherever you find yourself in your career, in your business, that you today can reach out to a handful of people that are in your inner circle and thank them for being the people who support you in being better and support you in, in your growth and that you are willing to do the same for them because that's really what it's about. That togetherness, that um, drive, that vision, the, the alignment in values and knowing why we do what we do. Hey, I'm so grateful to you for spending this time with me. I hope you have a great day. I hope you are, again, reaching out to your network. Um, and always remember that being better is about the journey. It's about the next good decision that you're making. We're not task mastering. We're not telling you that you're not good enough. We're saying there's always room for improvement and for growth. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for commenting.